Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Run to Me. Here's the verse. A to a G chord. F sharp minor to a D chord. B minor to an E. And that's it. So that's your verse. Uh, that's the part, uh, if you ever got rain in your heart, someone has hurt you and torn you apart. Um, all right, I'll do the intro too, but I'll wait till later because that's the boring part. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so the verse is uh, in A chord, fourth string, second fret, third string, second fret, second string, second fret. Uh, and my strum pattern for almost all of the song, except for one measure in the, in the chorus, will change it. But the strum pattern I chose was down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Okay, so for every single chord, except for um, two exceptions in the chorus, uh, two chords that share a measure. So uh, it's a measure each for each of these chords. So down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, then a G chord. The G chord is sixth string, third fret, fifth string, second fret, second string, and first string, third fret. F sharp minor, we're going to borrow the whole second fret, uh, fifth string, um, fourth fret, and fourth string, fourth fret. Sorry, got some bar chords in this one. Uh, D chord, third string, uh, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. Okay, then a B minor chord, we're going to borrow the second fret again. This time I'm not going to, I'm just going to mute that sixth string. Second string, uh, third fret, fourth and third string, fourth fret. That's my B minor chord. That's the that's the one that drove me nuts uh, when I was a uh, freshman in high school. <laughs> I just couldn't do it, and I had to stay after school and learn how to do it. it was brutal. Okay, and then an E chord is next. Uh, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, second fret, third string, first fret. You can let everybody ring on that one. That's your E chord. Okay, so that's all you need for your verse, um, and it keeps coming back, the verse. So it's an A, G chord, F sharp minor, someone has hurt you, and a D chord is torn you apart. B minor, C unwise, to go to an E chord. <laughs> okay, and then, then what you do is you repeat that, the second verse is... Uh, and, and it, let it be like they said it would be me loving you girl and you loving me so that you repeat that okay now let's move on to the chorus <clears throat> the chorus is like this uh, you know it's the run to me whenever you're lonely a to a C sharp minor to a D chord to a D minor here's where it changes a to a G to an F sharp 7 B minor 7 flat 5, E6, you stop and you let it ring, and then you're back into uh, another verse, okay? So, you know your A chord, <clears throat> C sharp minor, you bar the 4th fret, I'm going to mute the 6th string, 2nd string, 5th uh, fret, 4th string and 3rd string at the 6th fret, it's basically you're taking a B minor and you're moving it up 2 frets to to the 4th uh, the fret. That's a C-sharp minor chord, okay? Your next chord is a D chord, which you know. Uh, and then what I do is I flip these two fingers around to make a D minor chord. So you end up on the 1st string, 1st fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, and still the 2nd string, 3rd fret. That's my D minor chord. Alright, and this is where the strum pattern changes. Uh, in the song, in the chorus. I'm going to go to an A chord and I'm just going to do the first four moves of my longer strum pattern. So it's going to be like an A is down, 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 up. Then I go to a G, down, down, down. And then that's it for that measure. Okay? And we'll go over the chorus, the whole thing, uh, again. So uh, my next chord is F sharp 7. I'm going to borrow the whole second fret, third string, third fret, fifth string, fourth fret. Then I need a B minor 7 flat 5. So that is the 5th string 2nd fret, the 3rd string 2nd fret, 
the uh, second string third fret and I need to reach back first string first fret and I mute the sixth string and the fourth string I just stay away from the sixth string as best I can that's B minor 7 flat 5 okay that's a nice jazzy chord for you alright and then most of the time I think I, I didn't really double check it so you can you can do that on your own uh, this next chord you could just play an E chord if you want okay but if you want to get fancy uh, what I did was an E6 chord it just sounds like it works with the song better um, it's an E chord and I just have my pinky on the second string second fret okay and I hit it once and I let it ring okay and um, that works well with the song and at the end of the song when the chorus just keeps repeating you can play right through it and then just keep repeating the uh, the chorus okay all right so let me play through the chorus again you got uh, everything is that long strum which is the down 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 up down 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 up except for that one measure where a and g are sharing the measure and in that measure i'm just doing down uh sorry down 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 up and then same thing on the G chord. You'll see. So you got uh, Run to Me is A. Whenever you're lonely, C sharp minor. D chord. D minor. Here's where the strum changes. A to G. When in F sharp 7 chord. And then B minor 7 flat 5. And then you hit the E6. And then you're back to A. So that's the verse and the chorus. So the, uh, the form of the song, let's go over that. So you got your intro, which we have avoided so far. Uh, verse, another verse, and then a chorus. Then, another, then a verse, and another verse, and then it just rides that chorus out. I think it does it like three times and it starts fading out or something like that. Um, what you could do, the, the, only, the only thing in the chorus like, when you're repeating it over and over at the end, let me play it that way. I'm going to play right through that E6 chord um, and just keep repeating it. So A to the C sharp minor, whenever you're lonely, D chord to a D minor, and an A now and then G. You'll need someone older who's F sharp 7, so a B minor 7 flat 5. song on an A chord I'm sure uh, if you wanted to if you don't have the ability to fade out <laughs> all right that intro the first thing you hear in the song is you hear the piano going she has something like that it might be octaves I can't remember but those are the notes uh, and on the guitar it would be the first string 12 12th fret for three beats then the 10th fret for one like a quarter note the ninth fret for three beats, a dotted half note, and then the second string 12 for a quarter note, and then they just end it on, this is when the verse starts, the A chord comes in on that, that's an A, and it's second string 10th fret, and I just let that ring. So if I was playing like a separate part, like if you had another guitarist or, or a pianist or, or, or whatever you wanted, and you had to do that intro, personally I would just skip the intro and go right to the verse, if I was doing it like around the campfire or something like that. But if you want to do the, uh, the intro, so it's an E, D, C sharp, B, A, okay? And you'll hear a guitar plucking out arpeggios at the same time that's going on. So it's just, uh, what you do is you, it's, a, it's an A chord here at the fifth fret. It's like an F chord shape. So you bar the top two strings, fifth fret, 
and uh, third string sixth fret, fourth string seventh fret. That's your chord, and you're going to go. So what I'm doing there is I'm hitting the fourth string, the first, the second, the first, then the third string, first, second, third, and I just repeat it. So okay, you should be able to punt that out. Okay, and that's your intro, and then they just go right into. You can use the big bar chords instead of the, the A and the G that we talked about. You could do. Probably what they do in the song, you know. Uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, all right. I think I went over the chord, all the chords. Pretty sure. I think that's all you need. So you got your intro, your verse, verse, chorus, verse, verse, chorus, 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 fade. <laughs> all right. Uh, any questions, comments down below? Uh, play more guitar and please subscribe.